inequalities you can do these examples first then this exercise let's start from this example here 2x minus 3 less than 14 so we're going to solve it like equations so we take minus 3 to the other side and it becomes plus so we have 2x less than 14 plus 3 then we simplify it 2x less than 17 now you can divide both sides by 2 so we get x less than 17 divided by 2 is 8.5 so here x is less than 8.5 so this is the answer this example here we can just plus 4 to the other side so we have x divided by 3 now this inequality here is less than or equal to so then we say less than or equal to 9 minus 4 so x divided by 3 less than or equal to 9 minus 4 is 5 now we're going to multiply both sides by 3 so we have x less than or equal to 15 now we do this example x minus 2 all divided by 3 is greater than 4 so to get rid of this 3 from the bottom so we multiply both sides by 3 so the left hand side just x minus 2 right hand side is 4 times 3 so simplify is x minus 2 greater than 12 now we take minus 2 to the other side so the answer is x is greater than 12 plus 2 is 14 now the x appears on both sides so we collect the x terms on one side and the numbers on the other side so we have 3x already here minus x becomes plus x then it's greater than or equal to we have 13 already then this 5 becomes minus 5 so 3x plus 1x is 4x greater than or equal to 8 then you divide by 4 so x is greater than or equal to 2 Now we're going to do this inequality. It's got two sides to it. First, get rid of this minus 1. So, what we do, we add 1 everywhere. So, there are three places. So, we say 3 plus 1. Then we have a sign here, less than. Now, 2x minus 1. Now we're adding 1 then it's less than or equal to 7 plus 1 so we haven't changed anything, we're adding 1 here in the middle and at the end simplify it for 4 less than 2x less than or equal to 8 next thing is divide every term by 2 because the 2 here so we do divide here by 2, here by 2, and here by 2. Then we simplify. It's 2 less than 2x divided by 2 is just x. 8 divided by 2 is going to be 4. 
So x is more than 2 but less than or equal to 4. If we're just talking about x is a whole number or whole numbers, then x is greater than 2, can't be 2. It's possible x can be 3 or 4. Now you can try this exercise yourself when you've done it, then check the answers. A, first remove the bracket, that's method 1, or divide both sides by 5. So you've got a choice. So we divide by 5. So this 5 is disappeared. 2x plus 1. Dividing here by 5 gives you 7. Then you subtract 1, both sides, so 6. Divide both sides by 2, so your final answer x is less than or equal to 3. Just to check, if x is 3, so this is 3 times 2, 6 plus 1, 7. 7 times 5 is 35, so it's correct. Yeah, again, you can open the bracket or divide both sides by 2. So we divide. So on the left hand side, we've got 4t minus 3 greater than or equal to 34 divided by 2 is 17. Then you add 3. So that becomes 20. Divide by 4. So t is greater than or equal to 5. Check. 5 times 4 is 20. 20 take over 3 is 17. 17 times 2 is 34. So it's correct. Now, here before the bracket we got 5. Here we got before the bracket 3. They got nothing in common, so this time you got no choice. Open the brackets. So here we got 10x minus 20. That's done or equal to 9x minus 21. Collect x terms on the left hand side numbers on the right, so we get 10x minus 9x less than or equal to we got minus 21, this becomes plus 20 so x less than or equal to minus 1 you can check if you want to, if x is minus 1 so minus 2 minus 4 is minus 6 Minus 6 times 5 is minus 30. This side, minus 3, minus 7 make minus 10, times 3 is minus 30. So it's correct. Again, this 3, 2 got nothing in common, so we open the brackets. Three times two, six x. Three times minus six minus thirteen. Greater than or equal to two times four is eight x, and two times minus seven is minus fourteen. Now, because this side we've got eight x, this side we only got six x. So this time we're going to move the x to the right and bring this number to the left. So minus 14 becomes plus 14 minus 18 greater or equal to 8x minus 6x. So this side is 14 minus 
it is minus 4 greater than or equal to 8 minus 6, so that's 2x. Divide both sides by 2. Now this is your answer. It doesn't look good. The letter has to be on the left hand side and x is on the left side. So you just write here x. Don't forget x is less than or equal to. So you have to write the sign the other way around. Then minus 2 just there. just double check minus 4 minus 6 is minus 10 times 2 is minus 30 here minus 8 minus 7 minus 15 times 2 minus 30 so it's correct